The problem is, the printer works fine, no error messages, but it's too noisy when it's printing. Grinding, squealing, squeaking, buzzing, are the most common noises. Unluckily, there could be many causes. Toner cartridge, fuser unit, gears, all moving and rotating parts, could cause the problem. The cartridge, is the first guilty, but it's easy to find if the problem is here. Change the cartridge. If the noise disappears, the problem, is the cartridge. Inside the cartridge, there are various problematic components. The gears. Lubricate the gears of the cartridge, better using a grease specific for mechanical parts. Another friction point, is the drum axle, or the drum pin. The drum gears, rotate against it. The plastic of the drum gear, tends to wear out. Lubricate the pin. And lubricate the inside of the drum gears. Be careful, not to damage the drum. Don't use too much lubricant, it could fall over the printed page. The less, the best. If lubricant fall over the drum surface, clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Inside the drum, there is a copper contact. Lubricate the contact with conductive grease. It's an electrical contact, don't use normal grease. Pay attention, to not bend the electrical contact. The contact areas of OPC drum, and wiper blade, have the highest friction point in a toner cartridge. A new wiper blade is rigid, and could be noisy, at least for the first tens of pages. Lubricate the drum wiper blade with toner. Better if you have specific drum lubricant, like zinc stearate. The charge roller, could be one of the noisiest component within a cartridge, especially the hard ones. The OPC drum is a light, hollow aluminum tube. The charge roller rotates against the drum, causing vibrations. The vibrations, inside the drum cavity, produce a noise. To avoid this problem, inside some drums there is a plastic roller, that acts like a silencer. You may use cardboard. Be careful, not to damage the drum internal contact. The developer roller contact rotates against a metal plate. It could be noisy. Lubricate the contact with conductive grease. If the contact of the magnetic roller if damaged, it could make a clicking sound. Inside the toner hopper, there are paddles that bring the toner near the developer roller. If damaged, they could be noisy. If the noise continues some seconds after the end of the printing process, it could be related to the fusers. The fuser units, have roller bushings that wear out. When the bushings wear thin, the contact with the rotating metal of the fuser roller shaft could make a squealing sound. If you don't want to change the bushings, at least lubricate them, with high temperature lubricants. Fusers are very hot, 100 degrees, or more, so, don't use normal lubricants. Remember, the less, the best. Fuser gears, could not meshing well, so you hear a grinding noise, because gears are grinding each other. And high temperature grease could temporarily solve the problem, but to fix it, you should replace the fuser unit. There are gears inside the printer too, the printer's drive gears, that could be worn out. The gear wear, may not be obvious from a visual inspection, but it only takes minimal wear, to cause quite noisy printing. Lubricate the gears, using a dedicated grease for mechanical parts. Again, the less, the best. Give a look to the fan. Most of the printers, have a cooling fan, often behind a grid, to allow ventilation. The fan, has different operating speeds. When the machine is idle, it runs at a low speed. When printing, or when it first turns on, it operates at a high speed. 
As the fan bushings wear, the lubricant dries up, leaving a loud friction sound. The noise could be generated by the fan plastic housing vibrating on the fan holder assembly. You could try to put a foam padding around the outside of the fan, to keep it from causing this problem. Sometimes, an old fuser, or an old cartridge, runs quietly, but a new fuser, or cartridge, runs loudly. The problem, is usually not with the new part. The new gears of the new fuser, or cartridge, are not meshing well with the worn out drive gear in your printer. Another rotating part that could give the problem, are the paper feed rollers. Do not lubricate the rollers, they are along the paper path and they have to pick up the sheet. Only lubricate their shaft. I repeat, the less, the best. <laughs>